When I first read the letters, I loved how it was a page turner. You don't often read a play where you can't wait to find out what happens next. And, I, and almost the speed of my reading, I think in moments I kept having to go back because it's so nuanced, the cat and mouse game that exists between the director and Anna, who are the two characters in the play, is so precise. And moment to moment, what exists between them, you can feel what exists, you can almost see the tension between them. And uh, that was so thrilling to me. The letters is set in 1930s Russia. And in talking to the playwright, you know, he said it's not a play about 1930s Russia, but that there is something about a, a world prior to the technology that we have that exists today, prior to the Xerox machine. Um, without giving too much away, the copying of letters is, is, a, is a topic that comes up in the play. I can't wait to see how the tension unfolds and to see um, what happens with the subtle shifts. I mean, especially getting to work on a play that you know is going to be in the bookstore where the experience is so intimate for the audience and that each of those subtle shifts, each raise of the eyebrow, each just kind of like adjustment of the sleeve suddenly becomes a tell. I hope that the audience is having the experience that I first read when I read the play, that I first have when I read the play, which is the moments where the two characters expose one another and reveal themselves are very exciting and dynamic moments. And so I hope that there are, there are moments of surprise, that you don't know where the play is going, that by the time you get to the end, you almost can review the slideshow of the play in your mind and kind of see how it got there, but you had no idea when it was happening that that's where it was headed. And so I think it has a very kind of thrilling um, reveal to reveal to reveal experience for, for an audience.